We have bomb party earrings in teleplay. So let's let it spin some more so that you can so that you guys can see the full effect. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. It's not perfect. Uh, seems nothing is that I do here, but I try to make the best cool video that I can. Um, so let's let it spin some more. I don't know, I'm really liking this one. Oftentimes when I make a scene, I'm like, okay, is this good? Because, you know, there's so many different backgrounds and combinations that I can do that I'm never 100% certain, but I feel this one's pretty good. Okay, so let me show you guys what I'm doing. Um, I actually bought this from a Teleplay customer called Terry. Her name is Terry. And she said she was having issues getting everything set up. So I made this video specifically for her. And I'm sure you guys can get something out of it as well if you have a similar product. So Terry, um, what I did is I hung up the green blanket on a wall like this. And then what did I do? Then I have a lighting setup where I have one, two 100 watt LED daylight bulbs lighting the green screen so that it's evenly lit. So that's one, two bulbs lighting the green screen so that it's nice and evenly lit like this. Then I have one, two, three 60, 60 watt daylight LED bulbs lighting the actual product. And as you can see, I went a little further than what I usually do in product shoots. And I put the bomb party earrings on top of four cubes on top of a rotating display stand. Um, and that's it. Uh, you don't really need to have something as complicated as this, but I like it because it has a nice floating effect. And you don't need four cubes. You can only use the, four, the two cubes you have. Um, let me show you why. Because when I turn off everything, hold on, you notice that the app only recognizes the top two cubes. So you don't need the four cubes. Um, and the, another key thing I want to mention, never put just a lot of, sometimes customers just, you know, place this on top of the blanket and that's it and expect good results. Generally, you just, you want your product to be about eight inches, 12 inches away from the actual blanket. And what I usually do is I either put them on top of cubes for a floating effect, or I put this on top of like a, on top of a stand. Where, where is it? Or I just, or I just place the product on top of a, a base stand like this, instead of putting it all on top of the blanket. So generally, you want this, you want the blanket hung up on a wall, place your product about eight, 10 inches away from the blanket. And once you do that, you can put it on top of cubes for a floating effect, or you can place, or you can place it on top of something like this, um, in case, you know, you do not want to put a floating effect. Okay, so now moving forward, let's, do in the app let's start all from scratch so the first thing you want to do is to uh once you open the app number one make sure you enter your email address so that all of the paid content is unlocked so see all the paid con content is now free and unlocked the second thing you want to do take your product out of the setup and then press the calibrate button Okay, you can press the calibrate button. And in this case, because it's kind of a complicated scene like this, you have many different shades of green. What I do is I do a cheat sheet. I, I cheat a little and just press the reset button. And that'll give you, um, that'll give you the best green screen settings that are most likely gonna work for your, for your case. So just press the reset button and it'll work pretty well. The second thing you want to do once you calib press the calibrate or the reset button is just select any background. In this case, 
I selected a black background. So you can just search for black, like I do here. And then just select black. Okay, now we're gonna select the foreground. And what did we do? I believe we did, um, if you search for fairy dust ball here, you'll see the effect I used, the same one. So fairy dust It's going to be like 10 seconds. Okay. Now you can resize it however you want. And now just place your product back in. And that's it. And if you want um, to give your product a little bit more realism in this case, what you can do is go to settings, click on green screen, then select spill suppression enabled. Make sure it sets, sets a green spill because we're using a green screen. And now adjust this so that it looks more natural. And what this does is it removes any green halo, which happens when you're using a green screen. And then just take this away, resize the foreground effect, and that's it. So Terry, um, I'm here for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and that's it. Um, I'm here for you.